force is energy used to push or pull an object. Motion is the movement caused by a force. Can you tell what force and motion is occurring in each of the following pictures? Your answer is full. You're great. You're right. Push. Yes, that is pull. You're amazing. Yes, the boy is pushing the doorbell. Push. daily life, we can always observe forces in many situations involving moving and non-moving objects. It is something that is capable of changing the motion of an object. It can also act on objects that are not moving. Forces that act on objects that are not moving are called balance forces. Forces that act on objects that are moving toward a specific direction is called unbalanced forces. Okay, for our second module in this quarter entitled Force Be With You, you are expected to describe what happens to the movement of an object when force is applied. Explain the effect of changing the amount of force applied to an object. Demonstrate the effect of forces on size, shape, and movement. Okay, before we proceed to our lesson proper, let's have a short review. Write true if the statement about force is correct and false if not. Write your answer on your answer sheet. Number one, force is a push or pull. Two, force cannot change the size of an object when it is applied. Three, when force is applied, an object may change its shape. 4. Force affects our everyday activity. And number 5. Too much force can tear or break an object. Okay, are you true? You can now check your answer. Here is the answer key. Okay, do you get the correct answer? Let us now proceed to activity number one, ball game. Force affects the movement of an object. It means that when a resting object like this ball on the table, it will stay there as is. But if somebody pushes the ball, it will roll or it may fall. If the greater force will be applied to push the ball, it will move or roll farther. But if lesser force is applied to push the ball, it will move or roll at a shorter distance. Did the ball move when I placed it on the table? No. It only moved when I applied force by pushing it. When I block the moving ball in the opposite direction, it stops. But when I push the moving ball to the left, the direction of the movement changes. Now, let's roll the ball against the wall. As the ball hits the wall, the movement of the ball will change and turn into opposite direction. Activity 2. The effect of changing the amount of force applied to an object. 
select a flat surface in your house and remove the obstructions. Mark a starting point on the floor. Place the toy car at the starting point and gently push it. Observe how far it moves. Measure the distance that it travels using the measuring tape. Record your observation in the table. Bring the toy car back to the starting point and repeat step 2. But this time, push the toy car with a stronger force. Observe and measure the distance covered by the toy car. Record your observation. As we have observed, the toy car traveled farther when the force applied was stronger. It traveled nearer when lesser force was applied to it. Now, let us proceed to activity number 3, Effects of Force. Get any materials inside your house. Take a video of yourself and demonstrate examples of the effect of forces on the shape, size, and movement of materials you have collected. List all your observations in the table. And send your video on your science group chat. Let us now check your understanding. Write whether you agree or disagree in the following statements. 1. Forces can affect the objects around us. It has effect on object size, shape, and movement. 2. The shape of an object will not change when the force is applied to it. 3. Force can start the motion of an object and stop an object's motion. 4. If two forces from opposite direction are applied on an object and the object is malleable, it will change its shape. 5. The object would change direction if the force applied is of the opposite direction, and it's more than enough to stop it. You can now check your answer. Here is the answer key. Do you get the right answer? Okay, you can now answer the post-test. Enjoy learning!